Welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. In today's video, I wanna talk about what exactly is stress and what it does to your body. So many people feel like stress is just an emotion, that we just feel stressed out. And while it is that, it's actually a whole bunch more that happens within the body and has some serious consequences to it. So first of all, uh, stress is a stress state of your body. And really what it's referring to is when your stress hormones are elevated and maybe chronically elevated. So this is what's happening in your body when we are under a state of stress. And stress can be coming from a lot of different things. So it's not just feeling stressed out. However, that is the psychological part of stress. There's also the physiological part of stress. So this could be related to um, not having enough sleep. It could be related to low blood sugar. It could be having an illness that's very stressful on your body. Um, stress can be chemical, emotional, and mental. So we can be exposed to chemicals, whether it's through our skin, through our food, through the air. Right now in Southern California, there is a number of fires in California and the air is very smoky and that is very stressful to our bodies. So we don't think of the, all the different ways that our body is under stress, but there's so many and it's so much more than just feeling stressed. Um, also, we have our mental state. So thinking of things that were stressful in our life or even in the past from trauma that creates a current stressful situation. And then we have our biological rhythms that can be stressful on the body. So um, thinking outside of this idea that stress is um, just an emotion and being stressed out is kind of the first step in understanding stress. And then secondly is understanding the physiological response. And so what happens when we feel stressed is that um, whether we feel stressed or it's happening in our body, the stress hormones go up. So there is an increase in our adrenaline and cortisol. When adrenaline and cortisol are elevated, our blood glucose and insulin are also elevated. This in turn does affect our inflammatory response on our body, as well as the ability for your adrenals to keep up with all of the different stress hormone responses. So we see effects in our sex hormones because the adrenals have a lot to do with that. And also in our thyroid hormone because stress will definitely impact the ability of your thyroid to keep up with the stress hormones. So all of this chemical response is happening in the body just from the result of being stressed out physically, mentally, emotionally, chemically, and we experience it every single day. So if you wanna learn more about how you can become more resilient, how you can mitigate the effects of life stressors on your body so that you don't gain weight, so that you don't have a disease, so that you reduce your chance of dementia later in life, all of these things that do come as a result of chronic stress, then you might wanna uh, join me for my course in stress recovery and resiliency. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you for liking and subscribing. Please share the video with anyone else that you think might benefit and I'll see you in the next video.